Right, we are going to talk about Lynn Bus today. Now, don't worry, it's a bit weird and a bit scary, but we'll we'll go into it. Right, so why am I looking at this? So we have here our Range Rover L405, and I've had several people now write to me and go, Simon, I love your lush rear lights, they're well smart. Like They look like 2018, and they're brilliant, and they're all LED, and they light up in squares. But on the 18-year cars, I don't know how people work this out, apparently when you turn the car on, the rear lights come on as well as the front lights. Can you make it so that these lush rear lights come on as you start the car? And I was a bit like, well, you can just turn the lights on. We didn't think it was that big big an issue. But more and more people keep asking for it. So I thought, well, it can't be that hard. So, right. So we got the IID tool out, didn't we, Tyler? And it's got loads of, like, DRL modes. It's got, like, Scandinavian mode and Canadian mode. So we spent a day just rattling through each mode getting out the car, resetting it, changing the CCF files in the car, getting in the car, would the rear lights come on? No, No, it wasn't happening. So I thought, oh, we'll do it old school. We'll just jump a fuse. We'll take the wire from the DRL lights and we'll power up the fuse for the rear lights. But that got even more complicated because the left-hand light and the right-hand light are on different circuits and then they join at the body control module and I was like, oh, this is going to be a headache. So then I looked at Lin Bus. So this is where we've got to, right? So bear with me. So basically, what is Lin Bus? Lin Bus is a communication bus. Now let me grab this keyboard. So Lin Bus is a communications bus. Now, normally on cars, we're a bit backward in the automotive world. So for the rear light example, you've got five wires going to an earth wire and an indicator wire, and the indicator goes positive, the indicator comes on, and a tail light, and you send the tail light wire all the way from the front of the car all the way to the back of the car and the brake light wire but there is a thing called serial communication and if you think about a keyboard here it's got 26 letters of the alphabet and 10 numbers so i'm up to 36 it hasn't got 36 wires i mean a we know because it's on a usb and there's only four four connections there which are positive negative and serial bus but tyler cut through the cable just to prove there's not 36 wires in there oh there we go um you can see there's just you can't see because the camera doesn't focus but if you if you happen to do that at home you'll notice there's only four wires in there there is not he's going to strip it now to prove it so while tyler strips that so they do actually use this on the car so this is my little picture here so you've got a steering wheel and you've got your indicator stalk and we'll look at this in real life so there's actually a wire coming off there's only three wires going to this indicator stalk positive negative and lin bus so the lin bus wire comes over here into the lin input on the body control module now this has got the light switch where you rotate it. So I thought, well, if I could inject a dummy Lin bus signal into it that said, turn the lights on when the engine turned on, I could make it all happen. And what it would do is say it would send a fake signal along the Lin bus into here to say he's turned the lights on. And then it would tell the body control module and the body control module would then send out. You've got the left rear light. It all the outputs come from the body control module so it sends out to the left light and the right light so that's how it works so i thought all i need to do is tap into this lin wire listen to it see what signal it gives when you turn the lights on then i can create a dummy lin inject it into this line and even that that's the plan right so um there you go tyler has done that and there are indeed just four wires so we're all quite happy with and and in theory if you think about a rear light on a car it should only and this will be the way it will go it should only need three wires going to it positive negative and lin bus and the lin bus there'll be a little ic in the light it will get the signal to turn it on and it will send the power to wherever it needs to go right so let's look in the car and see what lin bus looks like and tyler's rigged up he's he's connected into the back of this there's three wires we've got and we tapped into them and we've got positive negative and lin and what i've done is i've set up this oscilloscope just to show off and be flash um i was trying to get the lot reduce the light and basically i've got this waveform come up and this is the lin bus waveform and basically without getting too boring you have a positive, then you have this little negative, and then it does a little boop, 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 
And that little bit there sets the frequency rate and tells the LIN system what frequency it is communicating at. Um, now I can, I can make that a bit wider for you. And following on from that, I can scroll that along, there you go. So it does that little, and that sets the frequency. And then it transmits a chunk of data there. And what we've got to try and do, and then it goes high again, and then it starts the next pulse and goes on this little boop, boop, boop. So this is a series of data. Now what we need to do is decipher this data and see how it is. So obviously an oscilloscope, I can't decipher. So we bought this little module here, this little module here, and we'll set that up now and we'll show you what that is supposed to do. Right, let's get the laptop out. So we've connected this USB connector in here. Now this, this connects the car. It takes the positive, the negative and the LIN bus signal and converts it to a USB that you can plug into your laptop. And that's relatively inexpensive, but as you'll see, it doesn't work. But it comes up with this program that you can download. This is all on GitHub and I'll put the link, I'll put the link in the description below. Um, and it gives you this program here. I don't know if you can see that screen. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. And then you have to select LIN because we're, we're doing a lin yeah. there you go select yeah. lin and then you have to select com4 on our computer and then you can select connect and it, it tries to connect but you should be able to monitor here and it should show you a list of all the lin signals and we we know there are lin signals on there because we can see them on the oscilloscope so we've tried altering the board rate the guy who's, who wrote this gave us some support but for some reason we cannot um connect so there we go that might work on some vehicles um you might be able to have more luck than us but that didn't work for us so that was a cheap one as i say it's about 20 pounds or something so that's quite good so we're now on to plan b aren't we tyler yep. right let's get plan b out right so plan b is a microchip lin bus analyzer this was around 60 pounds and again i'll put the link for that um uh, but again we've just got the three cables going in that we've sort of teed off into the positive, the negative, and the LIN bus going into this steering column stalk here. So now we should be able to power up the computer and have a look. It comes with a, a bit of software you can download. So Right, so we've got this all set up now, and now it is actually recording. So it, the data is it gives you a timestamp, and then it gives you a frame ID, and then it gives you the actual data here. And then there's a checksum, which is an, what you get if you add up all the little bits. And that's the checksum type. And this is the board rate. So the board rate on this car is 9,615. So that may well help somewhat. Right. Now, the, the trick is, so this is now continually reading the data that's going along the LIN bus. Now, if I pick this item here, if you, you can see that, it's 50. And then if Tyler turns the light stalk, you'll see that changes to FE31 then turn it off again and to 0030 so on on ID50 so what we can do is we can do things in the car and we can look and listen here and then if we can make a module battery's gone if we can make a module that could input that in we could then sort of input the LIN bus to turn the lights on or turn the lights off as we wanted so that's where we're at today We've got the battery run out, but we probably might need some help. So if anyone out there knows about LIN bus, we can read the LIN bus and know what we want. If anyone out there knows how to receive a LIN bus and program a module to transmit another LIN bus out and wants to help us play with it, let us know.